Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with my tips, tricks, and product reviews video for the summer 2020 FabFitFun edit sale. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen. I go through all of the tips and tricks I have that I use to help me pare down my cart so that I can save money. And then I go and I show you what's in my cart and then I go through the entire edit sale or add on sale, whichever it is. Now it's an edit sale and I talk about as much as I can possibly remember about what I've learned about each of the products available in the sale. I don't consider myself an expert, so definitely this is open for discussion. If you've heard differently about a product or you've used a product and you want to provide your own feedback, please, please, please start a dialogue in the comment section below. If you are wondering where I have been, I had my baby on May 28th. He is healthy and he is definitely the boss of me, so I have been caring for my newborn. He's three weeks old today. I do plan on doing Doing a birth labor story vloggy type video. I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked, but I do plan on doing a birth story video. Also, if you're familiar with my videos, I will put a timestamp in the description box below where it skips ahead of the beginning part where I talk about ingredients and how to check if something's cruelty free and all of that. So if you've seen that before several times, you can go ahead and click that link and it'll jump you to the part where I just talk about the edit sale. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into recording my computer screen. Okay, so here we are on my computer screen. This is the FabFitFun edit sale. First, I'm going to go over a couple of things that I do that help me just eliminate things from my cart very, very quickly. One of the first things I do is I check to see if something is cruelty-free, and my favorite, favorite site is Cruelty Free Kitty. Of course, right now, I want to film and it won't load, but basically, you go to this website and there is a search box on the homepage, and you can search a company that you're looking for, and it will tell you if it is cruelty-free or not. Now, now, if you there are several resources online to find out if something's cruelty free I like cruelty free because it's one of the strictest you can check other places if you have want to have looser rules if you're going to go this route to help you pare down your cart and check out the cruelty free world uh, there's a PETA so I went ahead since this isn't working I went ahead yeah it's still not working I went ahead and uploaded the PETA's reference site PETA's rules are much looser than cruelty free kitties but they are kind of like the uh, um, the the company or whatever. Sorry, I'm searching for the word. I know that there's a word I want right now, but they are the company that people look toward to for cruelty free. Uh, so this is their homepage. Uh, this is not their homepage, actually. This is where you go to find uh, their cosmetics. So I just did PETA Cruelty Free Cosmetics, and it brought me to this link. And this is the homepage. I will leave all of the links for all of the websites I show you in the description box below. So this is a homepage for uh, checking their company list of what they consider to be cruelty free. So if you just go ahead and you put in a company, I'm going to use Glam Glow because it came to mind, uh, to see if they're cruelty free, it comes up and it will take you to a web page where it tells you more about the company. Uh, Glam Glow, I already did know that Glam Glow is not cruelty free. They do test on animals, so I never buy anything from Glam Glow. But this is a way that you can check it out. Uh, there's also Cruelty Free International. Uh, they probably, I haven't actually looked, but I do believe they have a reference page as well that you could probably seek out. So this is one way that I eliminate things from my cart. And actually, the way that I became cruelty free was to help me save money in FabFitFun sales. I know it sounds bad, but what Whatever the reason, now I am cruelty free in my cosmetics and I do it for the animals, but the initial reason I have to say was to help me save money with FabFitFun sales and because I was interested in becoming cruelty free. Of course, it wasn't 100% wanting to save money, but that was the initial uh, reason and, and way that I was able to push myself toward growing cruelty free. Um, I remember I was in the community forum, which I'll talk about later, and uh, somebody mentioned that Dr. Brandt tests on animals and my heart sank. I was a new FabFitFun member and somebody mentioned that and I did not know that that still happened in the cosmetics world and it, in, the, in the world at all. I, I was nice and sheltered and naive. Uh, I knew it happened in the medical world, but anyway, so that was why I started exploring the cruelty-free world, and I found that it helped me save a lot of money in the sales. So it was really both reasons. Um, anyway, so I checked to see if something's cruelty-free, and if not, it immediately gets deleted from my cart. So 
Then the next thing that I do, if you're interested in learning about ingredients and what works for you, particularly if you have sensitive skin, I would recommend you look into this for yourself if you haven't already. There's skincharisma.com and if you go to the website, this is their homepage and there's this link right here. It says cosmetic analyzer. You click that and then it brings up this box here. So you can go to a product and select all of the ingredients. So we're just gonna use a Dr. Brandt product. It was the first thing I saw. You just copy and paste the ingredients list into this box, and then you click Analyze Product. And then it'll give you a little list. You can also quickly, you can create a login for yourself and have this site remember ingredients for you, flag ingredients for you that you've decided you want to avoid, which is a really nice feature. So this comes up and if you scroll down just a little bit here, it says ingredient analysis results. Here's kind of a quick review of the product ingredients. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, it has a whole a bunch of information there. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it has ratings on each of the product ingredients. So this appears to have fairly decent ratings. So the rated, there are two different ratings that it gives you. One is the EWG rating, which is the Environmental Working Group, and one is from the Cosmetics Ingredient Review. There are two different resources for analyzing ingredients. And you can, if you, if you look here, it gives you really just a overview snapshot of each ingredient. You can go to the uh, website, uh, the respective websites, and see, look up the ingredients on those websites and, that are flagged, like for interest, instance here, um, coca metapropyl betaine has, doesn't have the greatest rating with either of these uh, companies. So I'm just going to copy that and we're going to go to EWG which is right here. This is their homepage. If you go to their homepage and then you click on, um, you go down here and you click on Skin Deep. Again, I will leave links in the description box below. We can paste, oh, we can close this little thing. And then we can paste that ingredient into the search box. And then it'll come up with more information on why it has a four instead of a, a one, which is safe. So uh, you know what, usually it has readily better information. Oh, here, it just wasn't clicking through for me. Okay, here I was able to uh, select it and I here is where you would find more information and you can scroll and you can learn more about this ingredient. We're not gonna get into that now because my baby's asleep and I, he's probably gonna wake up in the middle of filming this. Um, and then you can also check, so that's EWG, that was one of the rating, ratings we saw here in the first column. And then for the cosmetics ingredient review, I also pulled up that website Here's their homepage, and then you go to ingredients right here, and then you uh, paste it into the search box, and you hit search, and it comes up with uh, actually published PDFs so you can learn more about the ingredients. And then if you're not satisfied with what you've learned on either of those websites, you can do Google searches and look at other companies. There are other opinions about these ingredients. I know that Paula's Choice, I believe, has a resource where you can look up in, uh, information about ingredients from their perspective as a company that's trying to sell you stuff. But anyway, these are the, the uh, the go-to resources for information on ingredients. So again, in particular, if you have sensitive skin, I would recommend learning more about this. Uh, for instance, I know that this ingredient, phenoxyethanol, can be tough on sensitive skin. It's a preservative. Most preservatives are the issues with sensitive skin and other, other ingredients, of course. So that is another way that I pare down my cart. I am not terribly strict with ingredients for myself. I don't have sensitive skin, but there 
there are some that I just generally stay away from. Of course, parabens and formaldehyde releasers are the are, are two of the big ones that I do stay away from. And so that's ingredients. Now I want to show you that something that I really love about FabFitFun is the community forum. So I have two threads in the community forum open that I will show you that I've been following and I usually follow these threads for each sale. Uh, but the way you get to the community forum, here's the FabFitFun homepage and you go and you hover over this link right here, community, and then you click on forum. So that will take you to the homepage for the forum and all of the threads are on the right hand side here. So you can see people go on and they start threads about all kinds of stuff. Um, and the women in this, in this forum are awesome. They're super helpful to each other. They're great, great, great. If you want to go in and have conversations with other FabFitFun members about the stuff available on the sales and other things like you can see, uh, then definitely check out the forum and get to know some of the wonderful ladies that are also obsessed with FabFitFun just like me. Uh, okay, so that's how you get to the community forum. And then the two threads that I'm following this is where I am. I'm on post 460 of 506 in the summer edit sale carts. This appears to be the most active thread talking about this sale. So I'm following this one. And then I'm also kind of following the summer edit, your questions answered. Every sale, that's the FabFitFun staff start a your questions answered thread that you can go on and you can ask the staff that are actively following the questions that post to this thread. Um, you can ask them your questions and get more information on, on whatever you might be wanting to know. This one I do follow, uh, but not so much because it's really more like if, if clarifying, I don't know, clarifying things that I, I don't need clarified. It's not so much like members talking about product reviews of each of the items in the sale, which I'm more interested in. And that is on the edit sale cart thread. Okay, so that's the community forum. Another tip I want to tell you, especially if you're new, is that if you are looking for an item that's out of stock and it's just it's just not coming back into stock and you don't know about how favoriting an item by favor blah, if you don't know about favoriting items and then going to your favorites and refreshing there to try to get that item into your cart that's so useful it's how you can get out of stock items i don't think that i think maybe once there was something i was never able to snag but otherwise I have always been able to refresh if I have a spare five minutes here and there and, and snag an item that I've been waiting to see come back into stock. So if you favorite an item, you see this heart on the top right corner of the listing of the item and you click it and it turns red and that means it has been added to your favorites. To get to your favorites list, you go up here and you click on my favorites. And you can see I have added some things to my favorites. I don't have my heart set on anything, but this is where people go and they re play the refresh game is sometimes what it's referred to. And you just sit when you have a spare minute here and there and you click refresh and you wait for one of your favorite items to pop up as in stock. And I am not seeing anything, but that's where you would do it. And it, it makes it so much easier than scrolling through the entire list of products to try to snag something. Um, the search feature is back. If you didn't notice, that was missing for a while. So I'm really, really happy about that. I hope they don't take that away again. That was kind of annoying. The past few sales, it was gone. Um, okay, now I want to show you what's in my cart. So here is my cart. I'm not getting very much stuff this time around. I, um, I usually, if you are thinking about getting Christmas gifts through FabFitFun, I would suggest starting to think about it now and in the fall sales. Don't think about it in the winter sales. You probably won't get your Christmas gifts in time. So I start thinking about Christmas gifts in the summer edit sale. So I have 
10 sets of these Pier 1 bowls. I have staff at work that I would like to give presents to. I just started a new job. I don't know them very well, so I was thinking of giving each of them just one set of these for Christmas this coming Christmas. So I have 10. I have six staff under me, and then there's a couple other coworkers I think I will give some to as well. And then this is for my boss. I will. I think that this is lovely. It's made in India. I really do like artisan crafts made in India. I think that they are beautiful. Anyway, so I this is a little on the pricey side, but it's a it's beautiful. I I think it's great. Anyway, okay. So I um the rest is for me. Uh, I'm been dying to try this Sampar. I can't find hardly any reviews on it though. Pretty much zero reviews. The reviews that I can find are in French. But the reviews that are in French, their star ratings are pretty good. Uh, this is kind of one of those smart, invisible concealers. It works for everybody and it, it learns your tone and, and blurs your complexion. Anyway, I'm, I don't really understand how it works because everything's in French, but I'm really, really curious and I don't wear foundation. I've been wanting to find something that I can use though to even out my complexion um, and, and start doing and start wearing something like that. Um, anyway, so I thought I would give this a try. I very well may delete this from my cart. I love brow products. I figured I would grab one of these to uh, back up my other one. They also have one that looks just like this from the Beauty Crop. Uh, and they look exactly the same except for that their packaging is different colors. And I do know a lot of times multiple companies use one lab and you end up just buying the name but the product is exactly the same so the product looks exactly the same so I just picked Butonique because I haven't tried anything from them yet. I am maxing out for sure on the Marrakesh Mod Styling Cream. It is one of the best styling creams I have ever used for my hair, curly hair. It would work beautifully in wavy hair as well or if you want to embrace your waves and give it a try I would suggest this. Uh, it, it's wonderful. It does have all of the Marrakesh products that I have tried do, do have a very musky smell. So if you don't like musky smells, then it this wouldn't be for you because it has a pretty strong musky smell to it. I, uh, the Ofra lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, they do have great reviews on Ulta. However, when you read a lot of the reviews, you can tell that the users have been sent the lipstick to try and probably were incentivized to leave a review on Ulta. Ofra does a lot of that kind of marketing and sometimes I find I might be disappointed with certain companies that have that are hyped up in that way because they've done such a good job marketing themselves. But I love liquid lipsticks. It's one of my favorite makeup products to wear uh, a second to mascara so I'm pretty sure I'll get these for myself the colors look nice and neutral I did try this hair mask and I was so I was beyond pleasantly surprised I was really happy with it it has a really interesting uh, slightly like gel like like hair gel kind of consistency a little bit runnier I was very surprised by that and at first put off but it was fine and then the scent if I remember correctly is slightly fruity um, but very you know high-end salon kind of scent it was lovely and it worked so well in my hair my tangles came out when I put it in it is great I do like it a lot um, so that is my cart. Not very much this time around. I have plenty of backup and stock. I don't, I'm not in need of anything really. So $157.98 and 60, almost $90 of this is presents for other people. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about, this doesn't appear to be showing up for people. And I couldn't find the link to it readily. So in the thread, this thread, at some point somewhere, someone posted the link to all of these. So these are, what these are, are their mystery gifts. They're free with qualified purchases 
and you can get different ones if you're spending different amounts of money. If you're spending $100 or more, I think you get this one. $200 or more, you get a mystery gift with a $55 value and over, I believe it was. And then if you're spending $300 or more, then the value is even higher. Uh, but they are not showing up for me. They're not showing up for a lot of people. They are not doing this for every single member. And people are not happy about that because uh, that fit fun members are not happy about that. But in the summer edit sale carts thread, somebody put the links to them in there. And I am trying to, let me see if I can search the link and have it come up and tell you which posts um, which post it is. Um, let's see, free mystery gift. It was early on in the thread. Uh, yeah, it was pretty early on in the threads thread. So if I don't find it right away, oh, here, here's where it starts getting talked about around post 27. You can see the posts here. And you can drag this up and down to get to different posts. Uh, so you can find it. Oh, here, this wonderful person. So this is the link. So post 47. And then she posted the rest of them. Post 47, post 50, post 57, and 58. So those posts in the summer edit sale carts have the direct links to those mystery gifts so you can see if you can actually add it to your cart i was able to add it to my cart i don't think that these links worked for everybody but give it a try if you haven't seen this already so i have that in my cart as well it's not showing up in this view though okay so that's it that's my cart i it is pretty much final it might change very slightly but that's pretty much final so now we're going to go through the edit sale. I'm going to talk about everything I possibly can. And, and that's, um, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, so sponge gels, I don't do sponge gels, but people actively talk about sponge gels on the forum and they talk about the different scents and everything. I believe papaya was a favorite in this sale. Um, Visibobbles, those kind of speak for themselves. They might not work for every hair type. Dr. Brandt, I already mentioned, I don't use Dr. Brandt because they are not cruelty free. Uh, it's a hard pass for me, but people do love, love their products and say good things about their products. Daily concepts. So I love these kinds of things. I do know that, oh, that's a really good price though. Check Amazon, there might be, um, you know, more for like $10. You see you only get five pieces in this plus the bag. I think you can get for 10 or $12 on Amazon a 20 piece set of something like this. So I wouldn't get it here because I would want more and, and you can get a better deal there. But I do, I do love reusable stuff. So then Murad, I have used a few of their things. I stopped using them because they're owned by Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free. And so I stopped using them. Um, but uh, that's all That's all I have to say. I don't know anything about that product. I have used some of their products. If I see any that I've used, I will tell you what I thought. Um, a hand sanitizer. People said, I almost got this, but then in the last sale, people said that this was kind of, you know, nothing amazing. It looks like just more Tupperware. Um, I talked about the Pier 1 bowls I'm getting as gifts. I have seen people really rave about them. I have seen some people complain because they didn't realize how tiny they were. They are very, very small. They're really like snack bowls. Uh, yeah, they're four inches, four inches in diameter. So they're very small. It would be great like for a decent sized portion of ice cream if you want to moderate your ice cream portion, something like that. Uh, Way of Will, don't know much other than that they're a Canadian company. Mystery bundles. I don't do mystery bundles. I got one once and I did not like anything in there. Oh, there was a moisturizer that I did give to my sister for Christmas. Um, more hand sanitizer because of the times. I hope you're doing well and staying sane and safe during this crazy year. Um, scrunchies coming back. 
Uh, the further hair mask, I do, I, there are mixed opinions about this. I remember seeing people say that it's a lighter weight hair mask. So if you like lighter weight hair masks, that might be, this might be for you. Um, here's the beauty crop brow pencil, uh, and the brow set that I had mentioned looks just like the one from Butonique and they must use the same lab and, and pretty much have the same packaging, probably the same formula. Uh, that's my assumption. I do know that that happens though, where like you'll get an Urban Decay primer that is made by the same lab as a, oh, I don't know, Maybelline primer, like a cheaper one. And it's the same formula and you're just buying the name. Um, okay. Anyway, Ish Makeup is a FabFitFun makeup company and they, I have never seen anyone say anything good about it. People think it's terrible. Um, I love tools like this for applying face masks so you don't have to put your dirty fingers into your face mask to apply it. I love it. Um, I have one already. Not that one, but I have a tool for that. This, uh, this was a, cla a, a hit from this company, the Better Skin Co. But they have reviews on, there, there are tons of reviews out there on this one. I have the Grown Alchemist Body Exfoliant. If I could go back, I could totally have gone without it. It's like a light peppermint fragrance. It's a very mild scrub. It's not very abrasive, uh, but I don't feel like, I, I don't feel amazed by it. So if you wanna trim your cart, I would say that would be something that you could go ahead and, and get rid of. Um, I know that some other people on the forum really don't like the scent. Somebody said it smelled like mothballs to them, which that was interesting. I don't smell mothballs when I use it. The Grown Alchemist stuff, some people say they just like anything Grown, Al grown Alchemist. I have not used this cleanser, so I don't have anything to say about that. I, ha I have loved a lot of Grown Alchemist stuff, but not everything. Um, people are saying wonderful things about this. I did see one woman say, wait, hold up. It didn't do much for me. So there were a few people who raved about it on the forum and one woman said, no, I didn't like it very much. Um, let's see. Ovation. I don't know anything about this curl cream. I had it in my cart. I have curly hair, but I don't... I didn't look into it very much, so that's I'm not going to waste time saying that. If I don't know anything, I try to remember to just breeze over the product and say I don't know anything. Sometimes I, I start talking before I think, though. Okay, so the Aquas uh, Leave-In Conditioner, the, these, they, in previous sales, FabFitFun has had this in a bundle with like their hair turbans and towels, and um, people did talk a few people did talk about these these products of theirs and they said it was nothing to write home about nothing impressive so i don't that's all i know um no one no one said anything glowing about it um i don't know i talked about some burn gels talked about dr brandt um the beauty crop is a london company their products are made in china that's what i know about them i did buy some lip stuff from them once and i didn't like it i ended up giving it away um moroccan gold some people really like stuff from moroccan gold i didn't like their hair mask that was a big hit so i don't even look at their other stuff unfortunately because their other stuff could be amazing um this uh this is a very glittery stick i have it i bought it i thought i was going to wear it on you know my chest and my shoulders i never ended up wearing it it's very very glittery um, just FYI, so it's a pretty intense uh, highlighter. Um, I don't know. Spongel, I don't know. Um, let me, oh, have I used this? Oh, I used this and I ended up trading it. I didn't like the scent. I've learned that for myself, it smelled like creamsicle and I don't like creamsicle smelling lotions. And I find that a lot of lotions smell like creamsicle. Um, so I didn't like this as a lotion though. I did find it to be, to feel very nice and feel very, very moisturizing. So if you like creamsicle, um, a, a lot of people love, love, love that body cream. And if I liked the scent, I would have loved it too. I didn't like the scent. Dr. Brandt, uh, Too Faced, I believe, is owned by a parent company that tests on animals, so I don't get their products. I would reference Cruelty Free Kitty for that. Um, 
that's another that's one reason why cruelty free kitty is a little bit more strict because they talk about parent companies uh being cruelty free or not and i don't i don't know that PETA does um i don't reference PETA as much so i'm not as well versed on their website so don't quote me on that you can explore it yourself <laughs> um Okay, so I just gifted this to my mother because I had it from a previous box and it is a rose spray. It, it feels like a rose spray, pretty standard rose spray. Um, editor's boxes. So I recommend, so in, in the FabFitFun sales, they are for sale for $39.99. You can buy them later in the shop for $49.99 and that extra $10 buys you the opportunity to make selections on what's available in the box. I highly recommend waiting, um, but if you're a gambler, then you can go ahead and get this. If you are wanting to know what the selections are, it is in the forum. I believe I read it in this summer edit sale carts thread again, and then you can just do press this click click this magnifying glass and search editor's box and then see if you can find it in there it'll pop up somebody put all of the choices and there are a lot it was great um i want to get through the products so that's how you would find it you can go and look there it is there the information is there um I was interested in this and I looked up reviews and they were mixed so I ended up jump dumping it from my cart but it looks so cute. Uh, I've never used a Winky Lux product. Okay, Kate Somerville. I don't buy Kate Somerville because they're owned by Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder according to Cruelty Free Kitty is not cruelty free. I believe that there are other reference guides that do say Estee Lauder is cruelty free. So that's where you kind of just need to make a decision for yourself who you want to follow if you're doing the cruelty free thing. If you're not and you're not, people say wonderful things about Kate Somerville products. Um, I was really tempted to get a couple of these as Christmas gifts for my in-laws, but then I decided that I might be able to find something a little bit better. I could just get them like a packet of sunflower seeds. I thought maybe my sister-in-law could do this as a project with her kids. Well, let me throw that back in my cart. I'll ask my husband. Oh, out of stock. Okay, so I have to favorite that and go to my favorites and do that refresh game that I showed you earlier. Um, here are the Pier 1 bowls. I don't do candles um, that I can't smell beforehand, so I don't do candles. I don't do perfumes that I can't smell beforehand. That's a good way for me to just eliminate stuff like that. Uh, here is Dr. Brandt. Uh, again, I talked about them. People like these Gustus Vitae spices. Uh, so, um, oh, and then a, a couple of people actually did say something really great about this foot cream, if you're interested, that it works really, really well. I um, tend to steer clear of Dermalect products. I do because they, I don't know if you can hear, but my baby's cry crying, so I'm going to have to probably film this in two parts. Um, the first two ingredients on this are silicone, so I wouldn't really want that in something that's supposed to be really moisturizing. The silicones are kind of a cheap way for a company to make it seem like your feet are smoother than they are. Uh, so I, I would personally stay away from this just because that uh, it's a, to me, it's like a farce. <laughs> but regardless, there were some people who said that it made their feet feel great. Dermalec products do work. And I think it's because they are so willing to use whatever ingredient it takes to make it seem like their product works. Um, so I, I stay away from Dermalect. I did, I loved, I had their neck cream and I loved it, loved it, loved it. And then I learned that it had a paraben and a formaldehyde releaser in it, I believe. And so I stopped using it. Okay. Here's more beauty crop. Um, Dr. Brandt. Um, life therapy, not very many reviews on their stuff, but good reviews from what I saw online when I searched. Um, bios apothecary people, I have asked people to let me know what they think of their products in, in comments. And it's been mixed what people have said, what they've used and whether or not they liked it. And then, um, 
uh, somebody did say search Etsy, which I never got around to doing that, but I guess they got their start on Etsy according to that person in a comment in my in my comments box. Okay, so um, the Beauty Crop, London Mace Company, products are often made in China. Uh, that's all I really know. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about their stuff. Um, I don't know. No one really talks about Trustique, Perlice. Hmm. Oh, the Grown Alchemist hand cream. I know some people who absolutely, absolutely love it. It again is kind of like that body cream. It smells a lot like, um, a creamsicle to me. So I, uh, I don't like it very much, the scent, but, it, the, but the, as a lotion, it feels really, really good. Okay, so now this no problem, I, I keep on wanting to say no problem. I don't know if that's what it stands for, NP Beautiful Products. I remember when I was watching the FabFitFun video where they were doing product demos when they this first showed up and it looked like it was so hard for them. This is a Sprite, so not this one. It was a shampoo and conditioner and it looked like it was so hard for them to squeeze it out of the bottle on the camera. And I have seen this uh, in at TJ Maxx and it is true. I tested out the bottle. The bottle is a really poor design for getting product out of it. Not with the spray, but with the the shampoo and conditioner um you know hairstyling tools things like this i always say try to find it somewhere else where you know you can return it if you don't like it or it doesn't work electronics and things like this from fabfitfun can be faulty and it is a nightmare to try to exchange it i don't know what it's like to try to get your money back you might be able to just get a credit if it's actually faulty or defective but to actually exchange it for the product itself i have seen people complain for that it took months or it was never ever resolved so kopari stuff some people swear by kopari this glow uh body glow uh product people uh, mixed reviews some people say it's wonderful some people say it doesn't look for the work for their complexion so definitely mixed reviews uh, i haven't fallen in love with kopari like some people seem to have i bought a cleanser last so i'll let you know what i think of it um bundles i'm going to skip over because uh, each of those items is available individually and i'll talk about it if i if I know anything about it. Here's a perfume oil. Again, if I can't smell it directly and it's simply for fragrance, I don't buy it. That's a rule of mine. Uh, so I don't know if that might help you to eliminate from your cart, just not to take that gamble. Um, rock your hair. Some people are starting to say things about this and what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is positive. I haven't, uh, been inclined to want to try anything from that line yet. I also something I also do is I go to the website of the uh, the brand, and if I don't feel like I really connect with the brand, that's another thing that I do where I'm like, yeah, okay, I just won't get it. So just something about it, I haven't really connected with that brand and wanted to try it. Wish I love their company. I don't know anything about this product. Um, I do know that some people get excited to see this available in the sale, the SPF RX uh, CENF serum. Uh, let's see. Oh, I tried. I'm not a sheet mask person. I've decided not to do sheet masks because they're just um, one time use kind of thing. So I don't get sheet masks. That's another rule I use to save myself some money. Uh, but I have tried the Lap Coast sheet masks and they are quite nice. I bought, before I decided not to do sheet masks, I bought a variety pack at Costco and they are nice. They are nice. I haven't tried the charcoal one though. I do have it. Um, caring. Okay. So I have tried this and it is very nice. It is a very simple, uh, gentle cleanser. And I like this brand. It's, it's pronounced caring. I learned it's Karen G. I was what I used to say initially. It's Karen Grossman is the founder and it's supposed to be pronounced caring. So it's supposed to be kind of cute like that. Uh, this, um, this cleanser though is very good. It smells like lemon verbena, which for me, I'm one of those people who it reminds of lemon pledge. And so that kind of bothers me, but it, uh, regardless, I did use it up and I did think it was a very good cleanser. 
So that would be a good cleanser to get, especially if you don't mind lemon scented stuff that smells a little like pledge. Um, I got these in a box once and I have not worn them. They're they're fine. Uh, something that I say in every video I make with jewelry, if you care, I, I would look at the materials and see if I think if you think it's worth buying. This one is actually appropriately priced for the materials it has listed. I still think that the retail is a little bit high for it, it being made of zinc and brass, but it's not as, it's not like offensively high. There are some where they'll say the retail is $99 and it's made of like metal alloy or something. But regardless, that said, if you think jewelry is cute, I have seen people say that they have good experience with the jewelry. Otherwise, I, I just, I don't know. I wouldn't spend the, these aside, these aren't, aren't um, really an example. So I'll look at an example later and See, to kind of prove my drive my point home there but definitely pay attention to the material the jewelry is made of um more tech stuff i've seen mostly negative reviews about silo products but some people have spoken up and said i actually like the silo product i have i don't know if that's how it's pronounced jennifer zuner her um her jewelry is made of materials that I, I personally feel very good about, like yellow gold plated stainless steel. That's awesome. That's fine. The retail price makes sense and the sale price makes sense. So if you like this, this is a piece of jewelry, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, I think this is just adorable. I'm not going to spend $49 on it. I did see in the thread, uh, the Your Questions Answered thread, this one, uh, that it is, the dimensions are in there, and then one of the staff members answered and said that the laptop is, the laptop pouch is 14 inches, so if you're wondering if it's going to fit your laptop, uh, it wouldn't fit mine. I have a 15 inch Mac, so um, that's a good way for me to eliminate it. But that is what they said. I don't know. I feel like it looks it looks bigger than they're saying. Anyway, I think it's darling, but I decided not to get it because it's $50. This is probably, this Grown Alchemist mask is probably one of the best mud like masks I have ever used. It's very, very nice. It smells herbal and bot botanical and spa like it. That said, I've had mine for a little over a year and a friend of mine pointed out that she tried hers and it wasn't that great. So I tried mine again and it did turn. It's not bad to the point it needs to get thrown away and it is still pleasant to use, but it did turn. It's not you need to use it within the PAO time frame, 12 months. So mine's older than 12 months and it's definitely different now. But initially it was amazing and it was probably the most clarifying mud mask I have ever, ever used. Okay, so Oculus, this is another product with the same kind of review as the other one that I mentioned. Um, Skin and Pro... So people are saying great things about the Skin & Co products. Uh, let's see, what else do I know anything about? I couldn't find a lot of reviews on this. Uh, I was curious to try it, but I couldn't find enough reviews. Dr. Brandt talked about that. Okay, so this 10 degrees cooler oil, I got, it was loved for some reason. And I got talked into getting it. It smells awful. I couldn't get past the smell. As an oil, it felt nice, but I just couldn't get past the smell. It was pretty terrible. So I don't really recommend it. It does not smell uh, floral. It smells, some people likened it to burnt tires. I don't like it, but a lot of people loved it. A lot of people loved it and thought the smell was worth it. Um, this... Okay, so before I was going to give birth, I was looking into bringing some nice um, aromatherapy type things with me, and I had this from a mystery bundle, and I was kind of bummed about it. I didn't never even tried it. I judged it before I tried it, and I ended up trying it like a few weeks ago, and it's really, really pleasant. I wouldn't pay $14 for it, but if you like things like this, 
it was very pleasant, very relaxing, and I would say it lasted about 10 or 15 minutes as um, just a relaxing uh, little lotion that you put on your temples. You could even just kind of put some right under your nose and it smells very, uh, very soothing. Uh, so I did like it and I ended up putting it in my hospital bag. I will tell you my birth story later. I didn't have time to use it. Um, I talked about the Marrakesh R & Co. People generally seem to love R & Co. products. I have tried several. I think they're a little hit and miss. I tried one of their shampoo and conditioners and it was, it, the smell was just overwhelming. I do think that R & Co. can be a little adventurous with their fragrances. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, hopefully you can find one to smell before you take the plunge and buy it. I'm not sure what the scents are like in these, in the ones they have available, but if you're sensitive to fragrances, I would definitely consider, or at least try to look up what the, anything about the fragrances of the one you're considering. Um, well, let's see, what else do I know about? I like Lifestyle & Co. as a brand. I bought one of these for, uh, it wasn't the Hefeweizen, I don't think, maybe it was, for my in-laws as a Christmas present last year, and I should ask how they liked it. I gave it to them. It was, it's a great Christmas present, I thought. They seemed really pleased. Um, let's see, there's the NP Beautiful shampoo that I talked about. Luxie brushes. Of all the brushes, I see the most positive comments of the Lux about the Luxie brushes that are available on these sales. So if you need brushes and you're debating, this would be a good set. Um, more caring. People said Beauty Bakery that they've liked palettes they've received from that brand before. Tara Mara is a lovely high-end vegan organic skincare line. I've used four of their products and I liked two and I really just liked two of them. I will talk about one of those. It's available in the sale later on. Um, what else do I know about? Oh, I have this tote. It's very well made. Uh, very well made. Very cute. Um, Twenty one dollars. I wouldn't. I don't know that it's worth forty two dollars. Maybe, maybe, but it's very, very nice. People that buy Rodeo products really seem to like them. Shani Darden's stuff has reviews on Sephora, if you're interested in looking more into her products. Oh, I should also just try to scroll slower in case you're watching this to see what's available in the sale. Sorry if I was going a little fast there. Um, Air is a nice organic uh, uh, line of products, not just skincare. Um, something that I've noticed is more and more Fat That Fun is leaning toward uh, supporting women-owned companies that are organic and cruelty-free and all of that. They still have some that aren't, but... Um, ended up having to get my baby and he's nursing right now. I was really eyeing this palette, but I just don't wear, wear enough eyeshadow to buy a palette, uh, but it has good reviews. As far as style stuff is concerned, I did buy a style item once. It was a pea coat that was made to look like a sweatshirt. 
And I loved the idea of that. And it was constructed decently. And so that was fine. And then it did pill really fast, which was a little bit disappointing. So a lot of their style items, I feel like just look like clothes you could probably score at TJ Maxx. Um, so I, I don't really consider buying clothes from here anymore. If you hear my baby, I apologize. I am, um, he just finished nursing and now I'm trying to burp him. <laughs> I do love, this is another Marrakesh product that has that same very musky scent, and I do love it. It's a wonderful leave-in uh, spray. There's Murad. I've talked about Moroccan gold. I don't do sponge gels, but people talk about the fragrances on the forum. They're all the time. I don't know anything. I have this uh, in just I guess it's just in clear let me see I have it actually right next to me yeah it's just a clear it's not tinted at all it's a little runnier than I had hoped it would be and it's more of a gloss I, I bought it more as a moisturizer I could wear at night so it didn't really serve my purposes as well as I wanted it to I do use it I'm using it now at night um and it's nice it is nice it's a little like I said it's a little runnier than I would like but um, it's good. I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, this is repackaged. I used this when it was in an older package. If you have dry skin, I don't recommend it. It was I have dry skin. It was too drying for me. I remember my earlobes got chapped when I was using this. And it was kind of painful. And then I realized it was from the cleanser. Uh, so this is, um, I wouldn't buy it again for me. I purchased a lot of the London Town products in one sale, and I am very pleased. People, I have this favorited. People were saying this is nice uh, to use the nail scrub. This looks really, really cute. I had it in my cart, just like a nice, large, compact mirror with the light. Um, but I, I just dumped it just to save money because I don't need something like that. It just looked really, really cute. So I didn't want to, uh, the extra expense. Okay, this is the Terramare product. I disliked this greatly. So it says it is for normal to oily skin, I believe, on this. For oily skin. And it doesn't say anywhere else, not even on the internet. But down here at the bottom, it says it's for oily skin. That was fine. Um, what's weird is that you, I would never say coconut oil should be for oily skin. And I believe it has coconut oil in it. It's coconut charcoal is the... Anyway, so that, that aside, what I really didn't like about it is that it's... I didn't like the scent. It smelled a little like Malibu rum to me. And I don't like that as a cleanser. And then also, it is very, it's charcoal. It's charcoal. If you want to wash your face at your sink, it's going to be a very messy process. I could only use this in the shower and I didn't even end up finishing it. I just did not like it at all. Uh, I do not recommend it. Um, I bought this and I regret it. It's the same people that make the Marrakesh products. It's Earthly Body is the is the brand. Um, it this is overwhelming. The Guava Lava. It is so sweet. I couldn't I couldn't spray this on my skin and and have it all over. I barely could stand one spray. It was so sweet. If you like sweet scents, then this might be uh, for you. Hang on, I have to burp my baby. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm trying to film this still. He's he's definitely the boss. Uh, okay, now here's another London Town thing. Hi, sweetie. Okay, Pixie, I bought this in a sale, and 
it's nice. It's not anywhere near as nice as their hydrating milky mist that is really well loved. What I love about their bottles is this is like the best spray of any face spray I've ever used. It's just a perfect mist. I have heard some people say they got faulty bottles and theirs was not the same way. But for me, all those sprays I have from Pixie, it's an amazing mist. I don't like, this might be a personal preference, I don't like spray oils and there this right here at to the top is an oil and so for some reason to me spray oils can be a little suffocating so that oil yeah it's this olive fruit oil I guess it's just olive oil I don't know anyway well there's other oils in it too safflower oil primrose oil fruit oil okay so that is a little suffocating to me so I don't shake mine when I spray it I just I just leave it so that the rust comes onto my face. Um, I have used this from Terramare. I loved it the way it felt as a cream. It was so nourishing. The smell, what did I describe the smell as? I did, I talked about it in a review video before. It was like rotting sandalwood or something like that. I have since learned that it's the clary sage in it is, is a, what a friend told me, but I like clary sage. There's something a little bit strange about the way it smells. It was so nourishing though when applied. It was amazing. It turned my husband off. Uh, he was very patient and tolerant of it. And then finally one day, it honestly, we were we were being a little romantic and it totally killed the mood and I decided I was just gonna wear it as a day cream to finish it off but it uh and so I stopped wearing it at night uh it, it has a pretty strong probably offensive to many smell uh I bought these one sale because people were just raving about them Honestly, I don't think there's anything very special about them. They're fine. They're warm, fuzzy socks, and they feel a little bit uh, moisturizing ever so slightly. I don't like them that much because the seam at the toes is very, like, big, and it kind of irritates my toes. But it, they're fine, and they're fine. People loved them, so I think I'm an outlier. I haven't tried this Terramare product. Um, the sip by Swell bottles are great. They're great little gifts too. I, I gave, uh, given a couple away as presents. Um, Mighty Patches, they do work. They work on, they work particularly on whiteheads that are ready to pop or that are newly popped. If you put it on that and you wake up in the morning or, or you take them off hours later, you do find that the, um, the the blemish has been drained and you can wipe it away and it helps it heal faster. I don't know about like cystic pimples. I don't know that it would work on those, but it does work on the white, ha white heads. Uh, what else have I used or heard about? I haven't had quite as much time with the baby to research as thoroughly as I typically do. The LSTN products I, I have mentioned, I have their wireless headphones and they, although they're bulky, they do work well. Um, and a portion of the proceeds go toward helping uh, provide hearing aids to people with hearing disabilities. I think maybe even in underdeveloped countries. Uh, Okay, so I, I do say to look elsewhere for things like this. However, I did buy my new me straightener from a FabFitFun sale when I was brand new and I didn't know that there were issues with electronics and things like that. And I love it. I love it. So if you're looking at a straightener and you're, you're going to get this, I do recommend it. Um... Chlorine is not cruelty free, so if you're interested in that, here are the uh, uh, wireless headphones from LSTN, or listen, I guess. 
is maybe how you're supposed to pronounce this. But uh, these are the wireless headphones I was just talking about. They work well. They're a little bulky, but they work well. Um, Marula, I did try a hair mask of theirs that I did not like. I don't know how this shampoo and conditioner is, though. Uh, people say wonderful things about these uh, bath salts, the Ahava bath salts. I have them in eucalyptus and I haven't tried them yet, but that one's lavender. I have tried this from Grown Alchemist, the brightening serum, and I felt like it did absolutely nothing for me. I will also say that I have used a few brightening products and I felt like none of them did anything for me. So it could just be a resistance my skin has to that kind of thing. I have this. It's very straightforward. Towel, terry cloth headband. Um, works fine. I have this. I talked about it in a recent video and it smells very, very floral to me. And people pointed out I was pregnant when I made that video and when I tried this. So I could have been particularly sensitive to the scent, so I need to try it again. Uh, as an oil, though, it works very well. I love hair oils. Here's more Opalens. I'm really curious about this brand. Haven't seen it before. And that's it. That is everything in the sale. I apologize again. I haven't had as much time as usual to research the sale with the newborn, but I will get back on track in my future videos. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and saying hello in the comments below. And thank you for joining me. I have, hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.